Hi there. I'm Michelle Taylor, licensed professional clinical counselor. So I want to talk a little bit about John and Julie Gottman's research that they have on what predicts healthy and unhealthy relationships. And one of the best things I learned from them was what's called the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. And what this is, it's based off of a New Testament metaphor um, that they use it as a prediction of um, the end of relationships and how they how people communicate with each other. So um, I'll put a link. I'll put a link about this a little bit more. But let's see if we can, you know, explain it a little bit in easier terms. So the four horsemen that they've come up with are criticism, contempt, defensiveness, and stonewalling. And I'll go a little bit more into each of these in detail. But for now, we'll just do a quick overview. So um, basically, these can these factors are what they have um, proven to be the um, predictors of a relationship ender. So if you find yourself in your relationship, either you or your partner are criticizing or you're becoming defensive or you have contempt for each other and a lot of times um, stonewalling, which means you kind of just shut down, then those are big predictors that the relationship is not going so well. At least the communication is not going so well. So um, I want to go through each one of these and um, in the next couple of videos and and talk about how can you, what are the antidotes to these things. And John and Julie Gottman are really great in the sense that they have been able to predict within 30 minutes of meeting couples, predicting um, whether a relationship is going to work or not. In fact, they can, I think that the stat, statistic is, is within 30 minutes of seeing a couple, they can predict within like 90% accuracy whether the couple is going to get a divorce, which, you know, that takes a lot of research and. Um, their research is fantastic. So um, let's get going on uh, what these four horsemen are and how you can um, first be aware of them in your relationship and then secondly, what, what can you do to stop it? So the four horsemen of the apocalypse as far as with relationships, you don't wanna see them in your relationship but they're very, very common. It is not abnormal for people to experience them the difference between master relationships and disaster relationships are not that they don't experience the four horsemen, it's that when they do experience, the master relationships, when they do experience them, they're quicker to repair it, meaning that they use the antidotes to them quicker. Um, so when you look at a healthy relationship, it's not that those people don't have problems, they do, it's just they're able to go, oh wait, I'm stonewalling, I need some time out. Oh wait, I'm being defensive, I need to take responsibility. Oh wait, I'm being criti I'm criticizing, therefore I need to work on my language to the other person. And the same thing for the person who's receiving this, the four horsemen, you become more aware also of you know, being able to communicate, hey, you know, this feels a lot like you're criticizing and maybe we could rework what we're saying and you kind of give them the benefit the other person the benefit of the doubt, which we could talk about a little bit more too um, in, in later videos. But for now, I'm going to put a link to the Gottman's Four Horsemen because they do a really good job of explaining it. And you know, the more ways you hear about how it works, you know, maybe the way I explain it will help you or maybe the way they explain it will help you. So um, stay tuned for more on Gottman work and thanks for subscribing.